What's up, YouTube? Laura Zander here, coming to you with another video. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about X Men '97. Of course, Episode Eight, I believe, came out last week or maybe two weeks ago. I'm, I'm a bit off. I'm distracted by life. You know, uh, I love the X Men and you know, Marvel, but under Disney, it hasn't been well managed or preserved. It's been used as a political tool. But anyways, uh, X Men '97 is good. Uh, there's 10 episodes in season one, and like I said before, it's a good continuation of the previous, uh, show released back in the day. Uh, now I'm at the, uh, public library, and this is the return of Jean Grey, aka Marvel Girl, into the X-Men. So this is a trade paperback, uh, and of course we have the Fantastic Four. Now I doubt we'll see anything that cool... In the movies, uh, we know that in the near future, uh, Disney is going to have, a, you know, they have control of the X-Men now since they bought Fox. They overpaid for Fox, but anyway, that's another story, another video, another time. But uh, this is the She-Hulk that I love and remember, not the lame one on Disney+. Plus. Uh, stupid political crap. But anyways, uh, Fantastic Four, John uh, Byrne, and... Uh, did this beautiful art but anyways um talking about x-97 so uh the main villain probably saying this name incorrectly so don't sue me or i guess you can't sue me but anyways uh baston or bastion or what I, I don't know but so he's basically a sentient super sentinel uh he's the one behind uh the attack on uh genosha with um master mold uh, causing a death of thousands of mutants and, uh, you know, the, one of the main characters of the X-Men Gambit, uh, <clears throat> of the X-Men team of the, you know, TV series. Um, awesome stuff, but, uh, the series is good. I want to say, uh, episodes seven and eight have picked up not too impressed with episode six i know they're trying to do multiple kind of storylines uh they have storm in there and you know professor x and the shiari empire and all that uh they allude to uh the events of the phoenix saga from the previous uh series and aka the comic book canon um this is the plus and minus thing about marvel uh under dc it is they'll pr produce a lot of crap a lot of p political you know, uh, DEI stuff like this that no one likes and no one cares about. Uh, shows and movies, especially on Disney Plus, uh, that suck. And then they come out with a good one with a competent writers, people that seem to like, uh, you know, and be fans of the uh, actual series. So, uh, but I heard they fired the, uh, I guess, main main person, main director main man of the X-Men season one for whatever reason, but, so I'm kind of worried about season two, uh, but I'll watch it, and if it's crap, I will call it out, like I always call it Disney, but where Disney, uh, deserves credit, I will give them credit, uh, X-Men 97 is a good continuation of the, from the original series, uh, there's some minor gripes that I have, but, you know, hey, nothing's perfect you're not going to satisfy all the fans they're not going to stick to canon 100 percent uh the first uh original series didn't even stick to canon of the comic books 100 percent. but whatever both are are good uh i still say the original series is superior in many ways but you know uh there's only one season of this first uh you know new continuation x-men 97 so that could change but so far i would say they're giving uh the series a good run for their money uh, it's a close uh second you know i don't think it'll pull out first especially with the firing of a uh, you know the director but uh man this I, I can tell you one thing that i do like about it it's not really a kid-friendly show. I'm not going to have any spoilers in here for any of the episodes. I encourage uh, you to watch all the episodes, but it's dark. I mean, the death of Gambit in uh, episode five, man, that was like uh, heart-wrenching and just like amazingly done well. 
And if you don't watch any of the episodes of X-Men 97, you have to watch that one. Uh, that one you can watch standalone, if you wish. Um, but we're going to see what happens in uh, Extinction, or Tolerance is Extinction. I do like the title because it has it's a double... Uh, uh, you know, conundrum, I guess you'd say, because, uh, you know, there's humans that believe that if mutants are allowed to exist, the human race will be extinct. And by extension, there are some, quote, you know, evil mutants that, uh, you know, want to wipe out uh, mutant kind or wipe out humankind, uh, any non-mutants, so they can continue to exist. So you have uh, extreme factions on both sides. Uh, but anyways, um, let me know what you think of uh, the episodes. I'm going to watch uh, the new episode that is coming out today. Maybe I'm, I'm a bit behind. I apologize if I'm wrong, but it should be uh, episode 9. If not, it's going to be episode 10, which would mean the series uh, season 1 is uh, complete. So we'll see. I'm going to give an overall uh, more detailed I guess a uh, video of episode 8, 9, and 10 since they are a three-parter. And I'm waiting with anticipation to see how Cable fits into this. Uh, if uh, Nimrod shows up, which I believe he will. If we're going to see Bishop again. And, you know, just there's a bunch of unanswered questions and anticipation. But, uh, you know, Disney's doing a good job because they have, you know, competent uh, writers and showrunners involved uh, who seem to know what they're doing. Uh, and seem who, who seem to like the episodes they're not doing uh, DEI stuff or uh, self insertions of you know themselves like they do with uh, with She-Hulk and many many other stuff uh, but anyways uh, leave a like comment subscribe and let me know what you think of uh, the episodes and are you anticipating uh, a great episode 10 coming up soon or not thank you and uh, leave a Hit that notification bell, leave a like, comment, and please, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.